For lots of families, using cloth nappies is a new experience, but they are super easy to care for. When you get your new nappies home, it is important to prepare them properly before first use. This will give you the best chance at successful leak-free nappying. When you get them home, just soak them overnight in plain water and hang them out to dry. Okay, Isabel, we're all done now. I've got a full bucket of soiled nappies now, so it's time to show you how to wash them. We recommend washing the nappies daily. If the soiled nappies sit for too long before being washed, not only will they become very smelly, but the urine is corrosive on the fabrics and shortens the life of the fabrics over time. Okay, I've got my bucket of soiled nappies, but firstly I just need to deal with this nappy I've taken off Isabel. She's done a poo, so as you can see, it couldn't be any easier to just drop the flushable liner, poo and all, into the toilet. Then I'm going to load my day's worth of dirty nappies into the washing machine. I have a front loader, but you follow the same process with a top loader as well. So the nappies are in now and I need to select the correct washing cycle. I want a pre-rinse followed by a wash and make sure that the temperature is not too hot. High temperatures will degrade the fabrics over time and we do not want to ruin the waterproof layer, the bamboo or the elastic. The microfiche layer of the nappies does not stain easily so with this ingenious fabric uh, a cold water wash will do the job perfectly well. The detergent I'm using is our own. It is made in Australia using all natural ingredients and it's very concentrated so you only need a tiny amount. You want to make sure every last bit of detergent is rinsed out of the nappies during the wash cycle, otherwise you may find your nappies start to get stiff and lose absorbency. That's it, now we can press start. The detergent is not salt based and functions very differently to regular detergents and the results of our testing prove that this formula gives the nappies the best performance, reduces any smells building up and helps the nappies to last over a longer lifetime. It also sterilises the nappies with eucalyptus, preventing the need to wash in hot water. Once the wash cycle is done, it is a simple matter of hanging them out to dry, either over the clothes horse indoors or on the washing line. Just make sure the smooth underside of the boosters is facing up towards the sun. This is the bamboo fabric and it takes the longest to dry. One big tip on making sure the nappies stay smelling fresh and stain free is to get them exposed to UV light as much as possible. UV is free and will do a better job than any whitener or bleach you could buy. In winter, this isn't so easy, which is where our detergent comes into its own. It is the only detergent we have tested that prevents the nappies from becoming smelly when you can't hang them in the sun. If you need to, you can tumble dry the nappies on a low heat setting. In winter and wet weather, it can be difficult to get the bamboo completely dry. If the bamboo feels at all cool to touch, it won't be as dry as you would like and it won't be as absorbent as you would like. What I usually do in these situations is to dry the nappies over a clothes horse indoors for 24 hours and then finish them off in the dryer for an hour.